Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. As you can tell from the intro today, today's episode is all about bubbles. And we're talking big bubbles. Not only will this video be a complete how-to from start to finish on how to make bubbles, we'll also cover science topics like density, solutions, solvents, and solutes. So stick around, this episode's about to pop. Making your bubble wand is pretty easy. All you're gonna need are a couple of dowel rods, some eye hooks, a few washers, and some cotton string. We decided to get a mop head and just untangle it. Untangling it was a bit on the tedious side in hindsight, but it does serve as excellent bubble wand fabric because it's essentially all cotton and super absorbent. Yarn at your local fabric store won't have the best results as it's simply not absorbent enough. But if you have three long pieces and you want to braid them together instead of untangling a mop head, that'll probably do the trick. With your wand materials ready, start by screwing the eye hooks into one end of each dowel rod. And then once you have several feet of string untangled, thread the wire through the hole of four or five washers to provide some weight at the bottom. And the last step is just loop the string through the eye hook and tie it off. There are a lot of bubble recipes out on the internet, like more than you would think. The recipe that we're using in our video is super simple and very forgiving. The ingredients that you're gonna need are some water, some Dawn dish soap, baking powder, isopropyl alcohol, and the secret ingredient, guar gum. Guar gum actually turned out to be a bit more difficult to find than our local grocery store, so we ended up just buying it off of Amazon. I'll put a link in the description below if you're interested. Also below in the description is going to be the complete step-by-step -step guide to making the solution. For starters, you take a liter of water and mix it with about 50 ml of Dawn dish soap. That's going to be roughly 3 tablespoons and 1 teaspoon. Gently mix it together and then set it aside. Next, we're going to make our guar gum solution. And for our young learners out there, a solution is when one substance is dissolved in another one. Here we have our alcohol is going to dissolve our guar gum. In a solution, the substance that does the dissolving is called the solvent. And the substance that is dissolved is called the solute. Probably the most abundant solution in the world is seawater. So water is the solvent and the salt is the solute. Dissolving guar gum and alcohol first will avoid clumping in the main solution. Once the guar gum is nice and dissolved, pour it into your soap and water solution. Add a touch of baking powder. Let it rest for 15 minutes and you're good to go. Our first few attempts at making large bubbles was a big disappointment and I was beginning to think it was going to turn into another Coke Mentos disaster. But then it started to work, and I realized we just needed a little bit more time for our solution to thoroughly soak our wand string. The next problem we were having is we were starting to create big bubbles, but they would just go to the bottom, hit the ground, and then pop immediately. So to fix this, we had to make our balloons less dense than the air around us. The problem is in South Carolina in July, it's always hot.
So I had the idea to use warm air from a hairdryer to blow up our bubbles. Because of what we learned on our gases experiment a few videos back, we know that hotter gases take up more volume. And density equals mass divided by volume. So the bigger the volume, the smaller the density. If the density on the inside of the balloon is less than the density on the outside of the balloon, our balloon, I keep saying balloons, in theory, according to science, should go up and not down. And science did not disappoint. Fortunately for us, filling the balloons with hot air was an instant success. This week's science demonstration was even more fun than we thought it was going to be. It's super simple. The solution takes less than five minutes to make, and if you don't want to go through the trouble of making a wand, you can take a shoelace, wrap it around a coat hanger shaped in a circle, and you've got your wand. Again, our recipe is in the description below, along with links to the videos that we reference as far as gases and density. We'd love for you to follow along in our homeschooling journey. If you don't have a background in science, teaching it to your kids in the homeschooling setting can be a little bit intimidating. That is the sole purpose of these videos, is to show that it's not that hard to expose your kids to scientific topics. And that's the goal. Exposure. Not creating the next Sir Isaac Newton. You just want your kids to have a little bit of fun in science and the rest will take care of itself. If you have your own bubble recipe, leave it in the comments below. Tell us how big a bubble you can make. Like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And we'll see you next week.